morning guys welcome to another video it is maybe about seven minutes past sunset here in airdrie alberta and with me today i hope you guys can see this um i just want to oh my gosh like the the sky right now looks amazing i didn't really bring the right lens to capture this i'll tell you exactly what i have here in a second but i have the g9 can you guys see that like i'm gonna try to take a picture with this thing and uh the lens that i have on the g9 it has an adapter a gobe g-o-b-e adapter that fits this little pentacon zero no it's a 1.8 f-stop i don't even know what the focal length on this thing is to be honest with you it says eight one point eight slash 50. i'm guessing a 50 millimeter i don't know um my buddy he got me that lens when i first had when i first got my g85 but i never bought the adapter till now so it's manual focus and i've played around with it a little bit in the house but i've never taken it out i'm hoping to get some uh tight shots close-ups let's see what we got here so it says current focal length setting 35 millimeter chain settings i'll say no oh my gosh so we got a aperture ring here it's on manual focus I'm trying to get that in focus it might take a little while that's really cool so here you can see for the aperture has 1.8 right here and then the zoom right here so it looks like so 30 i don't know guys forgive me I'm not really sure how to read this thing. I got to play around a little bit more with it. But you can you can just see here like the sky is absolutely gorgeous this morning. So we're at 1.8. Let's go to 5. No. We'll go to 8. Oh man, it's awesome. It's a neat looking little lens. I'll uh, link the gobe adapter, what I paid for it. It really wasn't anything crazy. Oh, I love the way that the sky looks right now. Maybe I could crop into this. There's a tennis court over here. Should have a big problem social distancing at a tennis court but you never know this is actually taking really nice shots like wow can you guys see that like i don't even, like i'm trying to find stuff to take pictures of that aren't just ridiculous like that crosswalk sign but i mean it's the best i got right now yeah my legs are still super tight from that hike i did like i don't know man that was that was tough it was beautiful but it was absolutely tough but you get some great shots there okay so we're going 1.8 let's uh bring that shutter speed down and let's see what we got here oh well that's not good almost like twisting that a little too hard there does not lock in the whole thing almost came off shutter speeds at a thousand oh you know what iso is oh god that's not good it's gonna be those pictures i just took earlier are gonna be a little grainy okay here we go we're at iso is 200 now before it was at 2 uh 3200 rookie mistake that's pretty oh that's nice with that headlights and the taillights let's go let's go deeper into the park a little concerned about that note to self don't ring this uh dial so hard or the whole thing might come off but we're still we're still good i'm not too familiar with this park right or left uh oh boy 
Let's go right. Just because the sky's over on this side. So this is a really old lens. As far as we know. If you guys know anything about this lens, please let me know in the comments. Get the zoom dialed in. Cool. Let's see if we can do this. A little damp, but... Don't know how that's gonna come out. That's actually a pretty cool shot. It's kinda, uh, I kinda like that actually. What do I want here? It's gonna be a little creepy. Oh, this guy looks even crazier. Uh, there we go. Nice. Oof. Oh, the water's actually frozen. Let's go to F8. Let's bring the ISO, bring it up to 400. And we'll go F6. Now we're at 80 shutter speed. Now we're at 100. Don't really have a composition though. Trying to play around with it. See what it can do. And I'm quite happy with what it can do right now. Oh, I like that. Go to 1.8, allow the most light in. Go once, we'll go 200. Hopefully that's better. I like that tree over there actually, that guy. That's a sh uh, 60 shutter speed. Let's see if I can bring it up to 125. I really don't like that garbage at the base of the tree that's actually a nice tree too and the bridge let's see if we can get that or even just that part of the tree is kind of nice too and we're at four f-stop that might be okay No idea how those planes are gonna come out. <laughs> uh, let's go over here. I like that. That's actually really cool. Now the question is, can we get focus? Four shutter speeds at a hundred. Ooh. Oh, nope, not gonna be able to capture what I want to capture. But I know I'll be able to make something work over here.
That's pretty cool. Might even use this for stock. Hearing sirens. the best luck I've ever had with planes. <laughs> it's a nice little walk this morning. I wonder if you guys can hear those sirens as well. I gotta say, just from the viewfinder here, the bokeh is really nice on this 1.8. I'm like half pressing waiting for manual fo or autofocus and it's not coming. You've got an idea. I want to see how something like this would look. Just on my way back here, I found this pretty cool picture and the light is causing like a strange reflection. I can't wait to pull this up on post. Oh man, that's cool. Oh, let's see how this works. I swear, man. Never getting home. Twist. There we go. That's actually really cool. I hope it comes out nice. That's at 5.6, about 5.6, maybe a little bit more. F stop. Oh, just moved it. Let's go to, yeah, let's try, let's try eight F-stop. Shutter speed will bring to three, let's go 250. Oh, that's so nice. Let's see if we can bring out the tree a bit more. That's super nice, man. It, sh it looks so nice in the viewfinder here. I don't even know which one I'm gonna pick for that. That's gorgeous. That tree, it's like the pathway to life. This is, uh, this is, this made me really happy. I like this. Thank you, Alex. You guys check out uh, Red Cap Media. That's R-E-D-K-A-P Media. I'll put the website either on the screen or in the description below. But um, Alex, he uh, got me this lens. I was looking for a camera for video predominantly, but also able to take some pictures. Because I wanted to make some short films and whatnot. Oh. Um, and he recommended to me the uh, G85, which was a great camera to kind of get me started on modern cameras. Back in the day when I used to make videos, it was all like VHS. <laughs> all that kind of crazy stuff. Oh, gosh. Let's try not to tumble. Looks like I can't get enough of this shit. Put a lot of faith in these nikes oh i can't see the reflection though okay i think that might be worth it this articulating screen is coming in clutch that's a cool reflection shot right there if i can get it i think that's good now to call the rescue chopper that might have been the money shot guys thanks for checking out another pov photography video if you guys want to see more of my work, check out Instagram at Milmid Studios. Just going to put that on the screen for you at Milmid Studios. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to see more content like this. Like uh, the video and comment with what else you want to see because uh, I do have that T3i that I kind of want to bring out. Um, this guy surprised me today. I guess we'll have to wait and see what the finished product looks like, but from what I could see, I was happily surprised. So if you guys want to see more content with this guy, also let me know, because I will not be opposed to bringing it out to play. All right, guys, take it easy, and we'll see you in the next one.